Hi, Dave. How are you going, Danny? Very well, and yourself? Very good, thanks, mate. Now that's all over. It's all over because uh, you just ended the, the four-day conference yeah. called Good Vision. That's right. Dominate the marketplace, and that's of course uh, that has a you know that has a function. That is the theme of these four days. Yeah. And you were here from uh, the seventh of November till this day, the tenth of November. That's right. And what I like is that you said it was my one hundred and second lecture today. Yeah. So that's quite a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So the, uh, you know, I run a big company in, yeah. in Australia and around yeah. the world, but I also run a marketplace ministry called Kingdom Investors. Kingdom which Investors, is, yes. Which is a marketplace ministry, not an investment club, and I get asked to talk on it. Yeah. And this is just the hundred and second one. The hundred second one. Yeah, because I, if I get asked, I just go. Yeah. And of course, I'm trying to balance that with the, with the business that I run. Yes. So it's just a lot of demand because of the way we teach them. Yes. And I also uh, found out that uh, you, you're running 32 companies, and uh, in, in the last you did, you did in the last 18 years from 2001, I think, probably. Yeah. And then you built uh, built till the turnover of one thousand million dollars so one billion so it's pretty, pretty big that's the valuation the valuation so that means that it's valued now the 32 companies one billion dollars yeah and still growing yes, isn't it? Yes, that's right and that's unbelievable yeah but uh, yeah yeah so a miracle it, this is a corporation of companies that we formed deliberately yep. to fund our church right the yeah, yeah. that's the only reason we formed the company so in the beginning, yeah. and of course the Lord grew our assignment from funding our church to actually lecturing around the world, teaching yeah. people how to fund their churches, and yes. how to influence the kingdom in the marketplace. Yeah. So we had to grow the business bigger in yes. order to do the assignment. As the assignment grew, we grew the business. Yes, and we grew the business by buying other businesses. Yeah. So we just raised money from the public. Yes. And we bought companies. Bought companies. And the Lord blessed that because we were doing it for the assignment. Yes. So we ended up with 32 companies and trusts, and, through, and out of that now, that's right. worth over a billion dollars since 2017, so it's growing every year, and we still use it to have influence in the marketplace and to yeah. fund Kingdom Investors, King and to fund Kingdom. certain strategic initiatives yes. that influence public policy and elections in our, yeah. in our country. Yeah, you, you also said that the, 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 the Prime Minister in Australia, you, you, funded, you were able to fund him with the... Uh, of uh, the companies that you... Yeah, so we didn't fund the Prime Minister, we fund, uh -huh. we fund various uh, candidates in candidates. that, in that yes. party, in that political party. Okay. Okay, Great. so uh, when the last election came up in Australia, which was this year, yeah. the, the polls were that it would be the opposite. Okay. It would be a very toxic government from the far left. Yeah. That's what the polling said. The, yeah. But it was, a, it was a miracle election. And the Prime Minister, when he got in, he actually said yeah. it was a miracle. Yes. And it's known as the miracle election because there was no chance of them winning, but they did win, and we ended up with a Pentecostal, charismatic uh, um, prime minister. Prime minister. Yeah. yeah, that's what I like because I said the word unbelievable, but that's not the right word because we have to believe. That's yeah. good. That's Even right. if, if you don't believe in God, because there are people here that maybe at this moment do not believe at this moment, yeah. but they can become believers because what I see is that the kingdom principles and the, the relationship with God is very vital also in your uh, life, isn't it? Oh, it's crucial. I mean, yeah, it's crucial. Obviously, before I started doing my assignment, I was still in business. Yeah. Um, and I believed in God and so on. But, yeah. But I hadn't learned a lot. Yeah. I was just a generic Christian. And yeah. my, the ceiling, I, I never got above $2 million. Yeah, that's what you told, then. Yeah, that's what you told. And, and what was the turning point? Then? Well, I was in business for 22 years. Okay? Yeah. And, Doing different types of businesses, and I, was, yeah. and I was moving around the world. So it wasn't just because I tried one thing; I tried lots of things. Yeah. Always trying to get over there. But one day the Lord gave me an assignment. It came through a prophetic word. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I didn't understand it. And the Lord actually squashed my business yeah. until I learned what he was telling me to do. What he was telling me. To do. Yes. And eventually, when he when I did do what he told me yeah. to do, which meant moving 2,000 kilometers to another two, church. Yeah, that's what you told in yeah. lectures. Eh? That that's right. And so when I got there really and began change. to do it, yeah. then the world applied as a favor. Yes. And we went from $76,000 of credit card debt into debt. a $100 million company in two years and seven months. So that, that means that was a phenomenal growth from debt, $76,000, till $100 million 
Yeah. In two years and seven months. That's right. That's that's like an explosion almost. Well, yeah, it is. But the important bit is I never got above two mil of my own strength. So this yeah. is the lowest flying is favored. So I don't understand yeah. the dynamics. The yeah. dynamics. So in your own strength, it was the, 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 was the, the ceiling was two million. Yeah. But then the Lord came into the, into your activities. In, yeah, he was already in your life. Yeah. But you know, I also have another question that uh, that that inspired me also. That you said. Uh, I'm running these 32 companies, of course, with a lot of people, a lot of people that are in CEO positions and also management positions. But you seem to have a very positive lifestyle, also. That uh, that, I, that when we talked earlier, that you said, that, what do you do to, to keep so fit? Because you're now uh, 64 years old, but you, when you're on stage, you're more like a person who's vibrant, dynamic, energetic. And that's what I like. But also in peace. Yeah. You're you're a peaceful man. Yeah. Because we uh, we were here in the in the lectures, and then lots of people went in the row, standing and uh, wanting to talk to with you, and you did that. Yeah. So where where you got the energy from? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I was just a high energy person. But I mean, I get up at four o'clock every day. Four o'clock? Yeah. That's pretty early. Doesn't matter anywhere in the world, even here now, different time zones. So still, yeah. my body wakes up before you. Yeah. And the first thing is an hour to pray with the Lord and take communion. One hour of prayer and, and communion. And communion. And then the next thing is uh, do an hour in the gym. Yeah. So wherever I'm traveling, I choose hotels that have a gym. That have a gym. That's my I first like thing. it. Yeah. So yeah. I think, you know, I mean, uh, I've got a massive assignment. I've got a lecture all over the world. And yeah. I'm doing more than 50 overseas trips a year from Australia. 50, 50 zero. Zero. So that means you have to travel so far. That's right. So, so I better be fit. Uh, I better yeah. be fit. I better be able to handle the jet lag. Yeah. Um, and so on. So that's why. And, and it's a, to me, it's a way of life. Yeah. You know, I, I want to be. Uh, I've got to influence people. That's yeah. why I build a big company to have influence yeah. around the world. So you better be fit. So the people look at you and don't think, I don't want to be like you. People look at yeah. you and think, yeah, I want to be like you. You've got the Lord on your side. Yeah. You're going to live in the eternity. Yes. All these things. So, yeah. you, so that's my logic. And to me, it's just a way yeah. of life. Yeah, that's what I like. And, uh, you know, I, I, I always ask people because when you see yourself, do you see growth? And, and you see that growth is, is, is it's really in your, in your veins, I think, in your blood. Uh, we, we talk about the blood of Jesus for protection. Yeah. What is your being hack? Because you already, uh, you know, you established with the Lord all these goals and, and these achievements. What is your, what, what do you, what do you, what do you see in the future for, for yeah, for uh, kingdom investors and, and fellow and group of companies? Yeah. You see that the entire objective, <coughs> the, the vision of Paladin is actually yeah. our assignment. Okay. So we deliberately we know our assignment. We and we made that assignment the vision of the company. Okay. This is how you give your company to the Lord. Yes. There's lots of different ways, you know, in the States they make God the CEO, yeah. make God the senior shareholder, all that stuff. Yeah. But in my mind, if, you do, if you're serious, yes. you take your assignment and that becomes your company's vision. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. So to answer your question, the assignment, their vision of Paladin Corporation, the future Paladin, and Kingdom Investors, because they are one, one supports yeah. the other, yeah. is to create sheep nations in the world. Yeah, that's what it's So I'm talking yeah. about sheep and goat nations. Sheep and goat nations. Oh, that was a question, yes. Yeah. So what do you mean by that? So that is the vision. So we're going to define what is a sheep nation yeah. from Matthew 25. We're going to say that, that, that if you look at what Jesus said, he listed a whole lot of things that the people and sheep nations did. And what they did is they eliminate, eliminated the social distress in their yeah. community. Yeah. And the people from goat nations, they just did nothing. Okay, so they were aware of the social distress, but they did nothing. And, uh -huh, yeah, and their, their future is essentially to go to hell. That's, yeah. what, that's what the Bible says. You read it in Matthew 25. Yeah. Okay, so then if we're going to do that in the modern era, what does yeah. it look like? The big companies, the entrepreneurs, the Christians essentially, yeah, yeah. need to do something about all of the social distress. Yeah. And the key is to make yeah. sure we deal with the root cause. With the root cause. Okay, so we, yeah. So if, if orphans are created, if yeah. there's orphans everywhere, if Christians think, oh look at all the orphans, let's build an orphanage. Yeah. So that's a very good thing, but it doesn't stop the orphans. That's true. Yeah. You have to go to the root yes. of the evil, that's and right. then you pull it out. Yes. And so if you go after the root cause, yeah. and the root cause is always greed and self-centeredness, if we change the culture of greed and self-centeredness into yes. one of caring and sharing, yes. then you stop the flow of orphans. And yep. then we, at the same time, we carry on building orphanages, and in, in a, one generation, there's no more orphans. That's great. Okay. I think that, that's, that's a big vision that you've got. 
and uh, you, I think you, you said, you know, I, I sleep four hours a night, yes. and then you uh, almost work uh, 20 hours a day, uh, inclusive uh, the prayer and also the working out, but that's also, yeah, getting into the, 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 the mood and the shape that God wants you to be in. And, uh, you know, uh, because of all the, those activities that you do, uh, you, you, you also said, because that's what I, I remembered, assignment, assignment means in Dutch two rising. What does God wants you to do? That's it, uh, basically. Yeah. And then you said, I uh, I pray one day, one day a week. Then I I, I go and I put off the, uh, the computer, emails, and I listen to the Lord, what He wants me to do, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's what you do. Also, although you have 32 com companies to manage and you travel around the world, giving lectures all over. You said uh, today we were here with, uh, I think, 50, 50, 50, 60 people in those four days, but you were in the United States with 12,000 people, and then in Thailand you were, I think, somewhere in the year, 9,000? That was last year. Definitely. Last year, so that means you have big audience, more audiences. Yeah. But, you know, <clears throat> how do you do that, then, that you are able to take one day off, and then, because you're so busy, then one day off? Yeah. So it's priorities. My priority is to hear from yeah. the Lord. Yeah. So nobody has ever formed a ship nation. Nobody. Nobody. Okay. So the last person who tried was Solomon 3,000 yeah. years ago. So in order for me to do this, there's nobody to ask. Yeah. There's no podcast. There's no books to read because no one's done it. I'm pioneering it. Yeah. <clears throat> so I better learn how to do it. Yes. And the best way for that is to go and pray to the Lord and ask Him, Father, what am I supposed to do now? Yes. I've got to go to... The Netherlands. I got to talk in a church there. Who are they? What are they? You know, what yeah. level are they at? Clayton I church. don't know. Yes. Yeah. And so, so the reason for taking a prayer day is so that I can do my assignment. Yeah. You know, so that we can hear from the Lord, get all the details, yeah. and so we can learn to listen. So yeah. a prayer day, prayer is, day is not out, you know, screaming and yelling in tongues. A prayer day is acknowledging the Lord, all the victories, yes. uh, taking communion, and then Lord, what would you have me do? So yeah. the dialogue is too much. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do. Yeah, so really I important. encourage everybody in the whole world to take a whole prayer. Now I think I think you uh, I, you really inspired me to set also a prayer day mm -hmm. because I already uh, started with that six weeks ago, not for a whole prayer day, but for a few hours, like four hours. Yeah. But then I really thought about it, and so I thought, well, when I want to hear from the Lord, when I pray an hour a day, then He really has influence in my life. That's what God wants us to be leaders. Eh? He wants the leaders to lead. Because he's the, the, the real leader, he's the leader for a day, so, so that he can hear what God wants from him and his teams and all his companies to make this really a better world. And that starts with sheep nations, not gold nations, where there's lots of rebellion and where there's absence of God. So what we really believe is that it's uh, necessary, the people, that they live with God. Yeah. And I have one last uh, question. There's a lady, and she's there standing. And when she, we want to stay here, Barbara, you're Barbara, thank you. And uh, you introduced me uh, via uh, the, the today, <coughs> actually, because we were in a business meeting in the morning, very early. Yes. And then, uh, then you said you have to come to Dave Hutchin and listen to him because he is very. Uh, yeah. yeah, happy but yeah. also successful, and he's an entrepreneur yeah. who teaches you all the kingdom principles. Yeah. But he does it with his people because yeah. all his team. Yeah. And then I yeah. say, alone, your voice will be a force. Yeah. So yeah. I, I really want to thank you and uh, for, uh, for uh, helping me out and uh, to attend yeah. 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 the I'm trying to pitch him, it was a business pitch, and then I realized that well, he's a Christian. He's yes. A Thank you Excellent. very much. Thanks very much. And also, Dave, for your support. My pleasure. All the wonderful things that you uh, told us. Because it's, it's good to be teachable. And then you learn, grow, yep. and uh, harvest. Excellent. Yeah. Cheerio, guys. Have yeah. a good trip back to the United States. Uh, well, US back to Australia. US and then Australia. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Right. 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 See you guys. Right.